Hey guys, it's Layla. I'm back. Um, I'm here to do uh, an eyeshadow tutorial. I already have my full face of makeup on, highlighter, contour, powder, foundation, concealer, brows, lower lashes. But um, I really wanted to try out this new eyeshadow that I got for you. So I have a really dear friend that I work with named Romadre. And she has a YouTube channel and she reviews hundreds of eyeshadow palettes like she must have 150 or 200 of them and we were watching her channel the other day and she's like yeah i don't use this one i don't use this one i don't use this one so she gave me five five beautiful eyeshadow palettes and i'm going to show them to you and then i'm going to actually use one so this first one she gave me for free by the way is called tati beauty it's gorgeous these are all shimmers on top and then the rest are um tri uh these are glitters i'm sorry glitters on top and these are all sheer i'm sorry i can't talk today glitters up top shimmers here a few shimmers here and matte at the bottom so that's that one i love it that's actually the one i'm going to be using today then she gave me this daydream by alter ego and it's also beautiful also with some glitters, some mattes, some shimmers. I'm in love with this one too. I'm in love with all of them. She's the best friend ever. Um, oh, that's mine. Oh, maybe she only gave me three. I thought there was a fourth one. Hmm, where did it go? Wow. No, I guess she didn't only give me three. Huh, interesting. And then there's this um, Naked Urban Decay Heat palette she gave me. And that has a lot of earthy tones with some shimmers and some mattes. I, I could have sworn. I'll be right back. I'm going to check for another one because I think she gave me five. Haha, I was right. She did give me five. It was hiding behind my makeup counter. Um, this one is Sweet Talk. Um, oh, God, no glasses. Sweet Talk. Powder palette, I don't know. I can't read, folks. Okay, and this one's really pretty, too. It's got the glitters, it's got the shimmers, and it's got a few mattes. So I just got all five of those palettes for free from my good friend, and I will definitely be putting a link up to her YouTube channel so you can watch her do tutorials on all, on all her palettes. But anyway, I'm gonna get started, and like I said, I'm gonna use this Tati Beauty. And I'm going to start with this champagne-y, champagne-y kind of color. And then I'm probably going to move to, you know, actually, I'm going to start with this pink, this light pink. Then I'm going to move to this for the crease, just so it's a little more subtle. I mean, I'm, I'm going to work. I'm a nurse. There's not much to really look good for there. And then this brown here in the corner. So let's get started. I got to clean off my brush. Let's see how this, let's see how this looks. I'm just patting it on. Actually, I'm going to mix this with the other one. I love my, um, I love my Morphe brushes. They're really good, as I expected them to be. I still use the cheapy Amazon one, though, for the crease. The Morphe didn't come with the crease. So that's the, the lid. Now I'm going to get my crease brush, and um, I need to use something... Um, you know what? I'm going to stay subtle and I'm going to go for this champagne -y type color.
I love this crease brush. It's very precise. Okay, obviously I have to blend, but um, actually, you know, you know what, I'm going to blend right now before I do the corner. That's better. And I did prime my, my lids before I did this, so the shadow will stick better. Okay, so it's pretty subtle, but I am going to go in... Wipe my brush off again. I am going to go in with um, a darker brown in the corner. Ooh, it's shimmery. It's so pretty. So pretty. And I'm just patting it on. Very, very pretty. I can't wait to try some of these wilder colors. I just have nowhere to wear them, you know? They're so beautiful, but, you know, I'm 44. I don't exactly go clubbing anymore. But if I did, I would be wearing the glitters all night long. I had my fair share of partying back in the day, so don't feel too bad for me. Okay. And I'm getting it under my eye, so let me clean up. So, where'd my brush go? I need a little more on this eye. Okay, that is a look. I think it looks okay. I think I blended enough. I know some of you might watch this and be like, she doesn't blend enough. It's too like straight liney. I'm learning. Like I said, I was a makeup artist, but it's been 12, 13 years. So you gotta cut me some slack because I am out of practice. So those are the shadows. I used a mixture of this pink and this champagne on my lid. Um, and I did this champagne on my crease, and then I did this brown in, in the corner. So, loving this palette. Um, yeah, beautiful. I'm going to do my uh, eyelashes and be right back. So, I'm taking a um, tip from Nicole Guerrero uh, from her channel. She does her, and I think Jacqueline Hill does too. Her mascara before she puts on her false lashes so that's what I'm gonna do right now sorry if you can't see I'll hold my mirror up Okay, that's the bottoms. Let me get the tops. Hopefully I don't ruin my eyeshadow. And I swear guys, I've been using the just plain voluminous since high school. And I think it was Jacqueline or Nicole or Nikki, one of the YouTube idols that told me about this um, dream lash paradise and it's really good. I think I might even like it than the regular voluminous. It just goes on better. It doesn't clump at all. It seems a little more pigmented too. And it really separates the lashes well. I like it a lot. Okay, so for lashes today, I'm just going to work. I don't want glam. 
So I'm just going to be using these that are not even that much longer than my normal lashes, but it'll just give more fullness. So I will do that and be right back. Okay, everybody. So I got my lashes on. I think they look all right. The liner is a little messy, but I can always go back over with like a gel liner. Um, one thing that I wanted to do that I forgot whoops, is put, this one doesn't really have a good white. I want a good white to put in the inner corner of my eye. It doesn't have white either. Out of these fives, there's got to be a white. This one kind of has a white. That's it. I know this one doesn't have a white. This one has earthy tones. Oh, no, it, it has a white. It has a white. Okay, so I'm just going to take um, um, I'm going to take this um, Morphe brush and like these don't have numbers. When everyone's talking about Morphe brushes, they always say numbers, but I don't know, maybe because this is the travel or it has a number and I can't read it because I'm blind. So I'm just going to get some of this color here, this white. and dab it into the corner of my eye. And I'm also gonna go along my brow bone with it. Um, with the brow bone, I'm gonna use this really small um, brush. I gotta wash it off. Okay. we go. Doesn't show up as well as I thought it would. But it's not bad. It's just kind of like falling down everywhere. And let me blend. I guess it got pretty good. And it didn't really get on my lashes. Well, it did a little bit there. But I'm okay. I don't need any more mascara. And guys, um, except for lips, that's it. Um, I'm not going to do lips because I'm going to work and I have to wear a mask for eight hours. So what's the point? But, um... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, I forgot one thing. My e.l.f. setting spray. Okay, I always forget that. And I always forget to prime, too. I have to get into these habits. So anyway, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you like this, please subscribe or give a thumbs up or both. I'm really trying to get this off the ground and... I know it's going to be a slow start, but here's to hoping. Bye.